Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you all are studying well, doing good at your home. So here I am again with your English class grammar section. Now, in our last class, we had completed interrogative and negative sentences, and uh, today we will study about nouns. So let's start this chapter seven. Noun sentences are made up of words. We all know that sentences are made up of words. These words belong to different classes or groups. These words belong to different classes and different groups. These groups or classes are called parts of a speech. Yes, these groups and different classes are called parts of a speech. There are eight parts of speech, and they are noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. You have to uh, remind this, remember this in your mind. It's very important. You have to remember this. Uh, if you will write this in your notebook, it will be very good. So. Write from here to here in your notebook. Okay, it's very important and learn these eight parts of a speech. Uh, it can even come in your exam also. So uh, remember it very deeply by heart. Now we are going to discuss nouns in detail. Here we are going to discuss the first part of a speech, which is given here: nouns. Nouns. Look at these pictures. School, Preeti Sen, dog, board. School is the name of place. We all know that Preeti Sen is the name of a person. Yes. Dog is the name of an animal. Yes. Board is the name of a thing. These naming words are called noun. A single and a simple definition of noun is that the naming words naming words are called noun. The names of person, animal, things, and place places are called noun. Okay, here you can see. Now move to the first exercise. First exercise which is given here. A exercise. Underline the nouns in the following sentences. Here you have to underline the nouns in the following sentences. Mother baked cakes and biscuits. Can you tell me which is the right answer? Mother, cakes and biscuits are noun given here. Give me a cup of tea. Can you tell me which is noun here? Cup and tea. Very good. I hope you have completed this. Let's move to the third one. We get medicines from plants here. Medicines and plants are noun. I have a pet dog. Can you tell me the answer? Dog. New Delhi is the capital of India. India, New Delhi. My favorite fruit is mango. Fruit and mango. Jyoti bought two books. Jyoti and books. The Ganges is a sacred river. Ganges and river. Uh, camel is a ship of desert. Camel, ship, and desert. I left my pencil in school. Pencil and school. I hope you all have completed this exercise. Let's move to the next exercise B. Here we are in our next exercise B. You can see. Underline the nouns in the following story yes you have to underline the nouns in the following story you have to read this story and underline the following noun so this is your assignment for today you have to read whole story and find out the nouns i hope you know that uh, which word is noun name of any person animal place thing if you find here then underline them Let's move to the next exercise C. 
fill in the blanks with the correct nouns from the box below here you have to fill up the nouns from the box you can take help from the box the dash was wearing red hat the dash dash was wearing red hat can you tell me the right answer who is wearing the right hat red hat first cowboy i am numbering you can write the answer here okay is your dash closed today which is the right answer can you tell me school number 2 have you seen those twinkling dash in the sky yes it's so simple stars my favorite game is chess number 4 that dash is my brother that boy is my brother so this one is fifth the dash flows under the bridge the river several dash are grazing in the field which is the correct answer can you tell me that cows or sheep which one is correct yes several cows they bought a huge dash on my birthday a huge cake a huge cake in my birthday may i drink dash in class may i drink water ninth the dash gives us wool yes ship ship gives us wool now i have numbered here but you have to write the answer in the blanks okay do not write number in your book write the answer here L now move to the next exercise d circle the words that are not noun here you have to circle those words which are not noun you will find here this exercise you have to do by yourself it's very simple like sing is not noun sing is verb it's a action word boy is noun girl is noun school is noun teacher is noun so here we have to circle the word which are not noun okay now let's move to the next page here we are in next page exercise e find nouns from the word grid using the clues given below a large animal you have to find out in the word grid a large animal which is large animal can you tell me that can you tell me that it's elephant it is made of wood and we keep things on it it is tell me that table we read it what we read book we live in it house she takes care of us mother a red fruit can you tell me that which is the red fruit yes here apple it gives us light sun someone who teaches us me <laughs> yes it's teacher complete this exercise okay now can you say who am i now we have to fill this one i cut hair who am i barber okay i fly aeroplane who am i pilot i catch fish who am i fisher man i act who am i actor i sell vegetable who am i grocer now i mend taps and pipes who am i plumber i sell flower florist florist i mend shoes cobbler i hope you all have completed this exercise 
now move to the next lesson we read in lesson 8 kinds of noun these are three kind there are three kinds of nouns common noun proper noun and collective noun we all know that there are mostly three kinds of noun here we will uh, study some more kinds there are some more kinds in our next class next uh, class means uh, in our fifth class or sixth class but uh, right now we will study about the three kinds of noun here common noun proper noun and collective noun so here is the definition given which you have to write in your notebook okay common nouns are the names given to things per animal place or any uh, or people the names given to things animals places or people which are of the same kind examples girl glass boy clock pencil park proper nouns are the names of particular person place animals or things examples indira gandhi india new delhi commonwealth games himalayas i hope you understood which is common noun and which is proper noun here is a list of some nouns here is you can see common nouns here you can see proper noun countries india japan china cities delhi kolkata jaipur rivers yamuna godavari players sachin tendulkar saina nehwal players uh, pencils apsara pencils nataraj pencils day days sunday monday buildings taj mahal red fort note that all proper noun begin with capital letter it's very important keep this in your mind it's a kind of hint to identify common noun and proper noun now exercise a match the common nouns with the proper noun here you have to match the common noun with the proper noun i hope you can do this boy rahul girl richa city mumbai country china country china river godavari school saint joseph convent continent asia cartoon character donald duck complete this in your book okay i've told you the answer also but you have to complete this exercise i am given you as a homework let's move to the next page now Now here we are in our next page, number twenty-two, exercise B. Rewrite the following sentences and use capital letters we are needed. You have to use capital letters we are needed, and you have to rewrite these sentences. I hope you can do this exercise by yourself. That's why I'm giving you this as your assignment for today. Capital letters, proper noun should be in capital letter. Okay, keep this in your mind. we have completed uh, this type of exercise in our earlier class now exercise c uh, underline the common nouns and circle the proper noun in the given sentence you have to underline the common noun and circle the proper noun it's also very simple this exercise you have to do by yourself i hope you can do this my birthday is in december so december is common noun or proper noun yes it's proper noun so you have to circle make a circle in it and birthday is common noun so complete this exercise like this now move to the next topic which is collective noun this is next uh, kind of noun third kind of noun here we st starting study it uh, col collective nouns are names of groups of people animals and things taken as one unit some of the uh, nouns are taken in a group group of people group of animals group of things these groups are called collective noun you can say now for example here a group of cows is called herd of cows many ships taken together is called a fleet of ships if there are many so many uh, ships are there then we will call them 
fleet of ships now we have to match here match column a with column b to make a correct collective noun now here we will match it uh, a herd i know i hope that uh, you all know that herd is given here a herd of cows yes very good a school of fish if there are a group of fish then we will call them a school of fish an army of sh soldiers a box of biscuits a pack of wolves a swarm of a swarm of bees a bouquet of flower a flock of sheep ship fish keep this in your mind they are never be in a plural form this is plural form of fish and this is plural form of ship sheep let's move to the next exercise e here find common nouns proper nouns and collective noun from the grid word grid with the help of given clues you have to find out common noun proper noun and collective noun you have to find eight words okay actually eight nouns you have to find out eight nouns eight nouns you have to find out and this is your homework also and you have to write their names also the statesman is can you tell me a statesman is newspaper you have to find out newspaper where is newspaper written shahrukh khan is an actor patna is a capital of proper noun you have to fill here bihar the capital of jharkhand is ranchi the dash teaches us in his school who teaches us in his school teacher sixth the dash is the national animal of india we all know that tiger dash is a famous indian batsman we all know that sachin a dash of bees swarm of bees i hope you understood and uh, with the help of the hint which i have given you have to complete this exercise by yourself now let's move to the next lesson 9 nouns number here we will understand and learn singular and plural noun here you can see so singular and plural nouns today is rinki's birthday read on to find out what she has to tell you for my birthday party all my friends were invited my room was decorated with colorful balloons balloons and stars a cake was brought by my brother i got many gifts jyoti my friend gave me a book which i liked the most here you can see a birthday party is going on this is rinki's birthday party so she is saying something now the noun which are in blue talk about a single thing here you can see noun are in blue talk about single thing like such as party cake book these all are which are in blue talking about single thing brother they are singular noun what are they yes they are singular noun nouns which stands for one person animal place or things are called singular noun singular noun means a single noun the nouns which are in red talk about person or things which are more than one in number such as friends balloons stars they are plural noun here you can say here you can see uh, nouns in red color are plural nouns 
nouns which stands for more than one person animal place or things are called plural nouns plural nouns plural nouns are formed in different ways we add s in most singular nouns to make them plural here you can see singular example is given here singular and plural singular is balloon plus s we added s after that it will become plural balloons friend s plus s friends gift plus s gifts books plus book plus s books tree trees girl girls table tables chair chairs next page here if the nouns end with s x s h or c h we form plural by adding e s this is very important first of all listen to me very carefully students that you have to write this this in your book when you start this lesson you have to write the definitions of singular noun plural noun and you have to give them any example two one or two example okay now you have to keep this in your mind it's very very important that whenever any noun ends with s x sh or ch whenever any noun ends with these words we form plural by adding or and if we have to form them in convert or turn them into a plural word then how will we change them we add es after them like glass es glasses box es boxes bush bushes church churches dress dresses fox foxes dish dishes bench benches i hope you understood you have to write this also and please give two examples one this one three examples now next point is when noun ends in y whenever noun ends in y and there is a consonant before y we drop y and add ies whenever any noun any noun ends with y and you see before y a consonant you know no what is consonant what is vowel and consonant i hope you all know that we studied this on in our earlier classes in our nursery uh, first second classes and third also that uh, which which words are called uh, vowels and which are consonant so whenever any uh, noun ends with y and before y any consonant is there then what we will do for making that noun a plural noun we will drop the y we will remove y from there and add i e s like you can see an example you have to write this also and two examples you have to write three examples party t is consonant we removed y and we added i e s parties family this l is consonant we removed y and we added i e s families duty duties army armies story stories family fa fairy fairies baby babies country countries third point is when noun ends in y and there is a vowel before noun we add s whenever any noun ends with y and before y there is a vowel means a e i o u is written before y we just add s we don't do this we don't remove y we just add s after y like day a is uh, vowel so days key keys play plays ray rays boy boys to toy toys monkey monkeys donkey donkeys valley valleys chimney chimneys i hope you understood the rules for changing singular into plural move to the next page here you can see next point is for most nouns ending in f or fe we form the plurals by changing f or fe into ves whenever we have to change any noun which is ending with f or fe we change we remove 
a kind of we remove f or f e and put v e s in place of f or f e. You can see here calf. You have to write this also calf v e s. We removed f calves half halves knife knives. Um, give the these as your example knives leaves thieves wife wives wolf wolves. However, some nouns do not follow this rule. Some some of the nouns do not follow these rules. Like chef, in chef, we uh, we do not remove f. We just write s after f. Roofs, proofs. These are exceptions. You can say. Next is most nouns ending in o form the plural by ending by adding es. Those nouns which end with o, we just have to add es after them for making them plural. Like buffalo, es buffaloes, mangoes, tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes, mosquito, mosquitoes, hero, heroes. Now here is something given. Some nouns do not follow this rule. Some of the nouns do not follow this rule either. For example, photo, photos. Here we cannot, we can't see es. I don't think uh, radio radios piano pianos. I hope you understood. Some of the nouns are like exceptions. There are some nouns which do not follow these rules. Nouns which do not change in plurals. Some of the nouns we can see uh, do not change in plural. They uh, remains in singular uh, in their singular spelling, and they call them plural. Like you can see here as an example, aircraft, aircraft. The plural of aircraft is aircraft. Plural of sheep is sheep. Deer is deer. Uh, deer is deer, and fish is fish. As I told you in our last chapter, uh, we write fishes when it means a variety of fish. When there are some different types of fishes, like um, a shark is there, a whale is there, and uh, clownfish is there. Any many kinds of fishes are there. Different kind of varieties are there. Then we call them fishes. But not uh, there are so many fishes are here. We do not say like this. Plural of fish is fish. Okay. Example is the pond has many fishes. It means in a pond there are many variety of fishes. Let's move to the next page here. Some nouns form their plural in an irregular manner. They are in different in uh, different ma um, manner they change. Like example, children, uh, child. Plural of child is children. Ox, oxen. Mouse, mice. Man, men. Woman, woman. Woman, woman. Foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Goose, geese. Uh, here uh, you have to listen to pronunciation clearly. Woman, woman. Man, men. Ox, oxen. Mouse, mice. Tooth, teeth, goose, geese. Some nouns are always used in plural form. Example: scissors, trousers, spectacles, shocks. These nouns always used in their plural form. We do not use them in any singular form. Some nouns are always used in singular form. Some nouns we use always in singular form, like furniture, news. Now, exercise A. Circle the singular noun and underline the plural noun. Here you have to circle the singular noun and underline the plural noun, which is your homework. Fill in the blank with correct form of noun. You have to complete this exercise now. Exercise B is also your homework. I hope you can do this very easily. Here, exercise C. You have to change uh, these in, in sing, these singular noun into plural noun. You have to write the plural noun of these singular noun. And here, here you have to write the singular noun, singular form of these nouns given. So I hope you can do this C and D exercise also very easily. It's very simple. And in any case, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. So uh, let's move to today's assignment now. So here is your assignment now. Complete exercise D from page number 19 by yourself. 
कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज ए बी सी एंड ई फ्रॉम पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय योर सेल्फ कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज ए बी सी डी फ्रॉम पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड ट्वेंटी एट राइट ऑल द डेफिनेशंस एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विथ देयर एग्जाम्पल्स गिवन इन योर नोटबुक डोंट फो गेट दैट in your notebook in very beautiful handwriting okay so that's all for today's class we will move we will meet in our next class till then take care be safe bye bye